Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalaran. Currently, if I look at the Battle.net app, I am not in the alpha that has been changed up for our Legion, but I can still bring you guys all the information of the alpha. If you are in the alpha, you're going to be happy about some of the rogue changes. They're changing things to assassination, outlaw, and subtlety. Mostly outlaw rogues, buffs, is what I'm going to be talking about here, as well as some cool changes to subtlety. So let's get into the video where I'll be talking about all these changes. On the Wildhead page, I'll have the link on that for that in description down below for you guys to check out. Uh, so let's get on through it. First thing is they decided to make sure the bribe cannot be used on players, so they changed to a non-player target, uh, convincing them to fight with you for one minute. I guess there was bugs with it. Cannonball Barrage already got a buff for itself, so already Outlaw got a lot of buffs. Our Mastery got buffed from 140% increased physical damage to 210, so it seems like stack Mastery should still be a thing. They changed parlay. Nobody was really sure what parlay was like. Maybe it would replace sap or act like a sap. But now they made a change that will basically make parlay a weird option for a lot of rogues. I'm not sure if that is still the best option out there. Parlay is now a 40 yard range. It replaces blind, taking away the energy cost of blind. But still causing the target to be pacified for whatever amount of time. Can be used as an instant with a 20 second cooldown. The cool thing about parlay is it didn't have a cooldown, so you could maybe use it back to back on a target, but now it replaces blind. So now the question is what kind of a CC is it? Is it a sap? Is it a blind? It feels like a blind would still be a better option, so you don't need, really need to take parlay as an outlaw rogue. I think there might be a better option now than parlay, or maybe there won't be. But they changed the cost to no energy. So I guess that's a nice buff, so you won't have to waste energy on a blind. Cooldown is 20 seconds, and the range has been increased to 40 yards, so you can do use it at a distance. Pistol Draw now deals a bit more damage in terms of attack power damage, so again, lots of rogue buffs. Run Through has been buffed throughout every single combo point, even at 6 combo points, to what looks like to deal a bit more extra damage onto our enemies. As far as I'm seeing right here, it looks like damage buffs are happening all over the place but I'm not quite sure um, because the, the the numbers the blizzard uses is a bit weird but from what I'm seeing right here that looks like damage buffs let me know in comments if that's different uh, on your end saber slash got a damage buff as well a pretty hefty one it seems like so our basic attacks our stun our mastery got damage buffs so it's really awesome Subtlety is actually gonna be I feel like playable I'm not 100% sure myself because I haven't got to take a look at the full uh, alpha build, but they're ba uh, buffing backstab, and looks like they are buffing eviscerate in the same manner as run through. I'm pretty sure it's a buff as far as I can understand. They also buffed gloom blade to deal a bit more shadow damage to targets, and night blade is feel. I feel like that's also been buffed as well. So it looks like buffs all over the place for rogues. So it seems like rogues just weren't dealing enough damage early on. Shadow strike also got a buff, but weapon master in the other hand for subtlety. I Guess it was procking way too often, so they changed its proc chance to 6%. Uh, I know there's other ways to make it proc through your artifact weapons to increase it. So, maybe there's also PvP. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a PvE or, uh, or a class talent or a PvP based talent to increase its proc chance. So, I feel like locking it down to 6%. It just balances things out a bit. Uh, PvP talents, they added Dismantle to Outlaw Rogues. Uh, so... Disarming your enemies is back. When you take a look at the Outlaw Rogue PvP talents, it's right there with Dead Man's Reach, to increase, which now increases the range of run through by 7 yards. Plunder Armor, which is what they changed the uh, spell of Plunder to. And now Dismantle. Disarm your enemy, preventing the use of any weapon or shield for 8 seconds. Replaces Blind. Now there's two abilities that can replace Blind. My question is can you apply both of them on your class at the same time? Does that mean just one of the abilities is gone, or can you still have both? This is an interesting one. A dismantle, a 1 minute cooldown, 25 energy. Disarms an enemy for 8 seconds. My question is, how how good is disarm? Does it cause everybody, even casters, to stop being able to cast? Or is it still just uh, disarm anybody who is using weapons, uh, as rogues and warriors and paladins and death knights to a certain extent? And lower damage of mate. I, I wonder just how much of a CC is it? I feel like still plunder armor is a better option because it steals the equipment of target's armor, reduces their damage by 20% and maximum health by 20 and increasing yours by 20 damage and health wise as well. I feel like this still is a better option. So dismantle is weird but it's just, this armor's back boys. Um, we also have a couple other changes. We have shadowy duel 
which is an ability for subtlety. You lock your target into a duel, so you and the target start dueling, contained in the shadows, removing both of you from the eyes of onlookers. So as far as I understand, it removes everybody from around you. For 8 seconds, it's just you and the subtlety rogue out to duel one another for about 8 seconds, 2 minute cooldown. I feel like this is a really cool idea, and this might be just the CC needed for subtlety, but if it has high damage, in order to score kills in arenas, you basically take the enemy out from the range of the healer so he can't heal him, and you're there to finish him off, right as they're at low health. So this might be an interesting change, and with subtlety damage buffs and subtlety being mostly all about damage lacking in CC, this might be the CC to seal the deal and make subtlety really good. Doom and Gloom is another ability, that ability deals up to an additional 100% damage based on the current health of the target at time of cast. That's a PvP talent as well, so I guess it's going to be one of the two choices between Shadow Duel or Doom and Gloom. So Doom and Gloom could be more dot based to spread the dots onto enemies, onto different targets. So maybe when you're going for swaps. And Shadowy Duel is when you train that healer. For Assassination, they dam increase the damage of... Actually, they just define the damage of Creeping Venom. Instead of giving it just damage over time, they said 100 nature damage over time. So now they're specifying the numbers. Another change to Outlaw Rogues, Dead Man's Reach is again out of the talent bar. Dead Man Tell... Oh, Dead Man's Reach. No, no. It is Dead Man Tell No Tales. That's out of the um, talent bar completely. Killing Spree School Daniel will now be reset if he kills the target. I don't know if it's a passive or not. Dead Man's Reach changes the run through, increasing it by 7 yards, so you can use run through uh, even though enemies are cutting you. Drink Up Me Hardies now has an area of effect of 10 yards, so you gotta get next to your friendlies to use a heal to heal your friendlies for 50% of maximum health. Plunder now changed to Plunder Armor. For subtlety, they added a really cool ability. While in stealth, your cooldowns are 30% faster. So while in stealth, you have faster downtime on your cooldowns. Shadows Caress. This is going to be amazing for battlegrounds. I'm not sure how it will be for arenas. I don't know for how long you'll be able to sit in stealth during arenas, but that is a really cool ability. Being sitting in stealth, coolies are going to be up. Was like a wazoo. I don't even know. Smoke bomb is again another thing that has been changed. They requires them level 85 now, rather level 46. As far as I am to understand, subtlety still has it as an option. No, it isn't. So Smoke Bomb is just given to Subtlety Rogues now. That is really cool. That actually just might be the CC they need in order to become effective since they are losing a lot of CC like Saps. Oh, they still have a Sap, but they won't be able to go Shadow Dance, Sap, uh, Garotes, Cheap Shots. Uh, they, only, they only really have just Cheap Shot. No slows really besides the Dot, which might be dispellable. But these are really cool changes so far. So when we take a look at Outlaw Rogues, we have abilities such as Dismantle, Plunder, Armor, and Dead Man's Reach on the same area. You have Unfair Advantage, Castaway, all these different abilities. Uh, taking a look at quickly at Subtlety, now we have Slaughter from Shadows to be able to... Uh, you remain enveloped in the shadows for 2 seconds come, well, after coming out of stealth, so... Ste stay in stealth for a longer time after coming out of stealth. Each second stealth is active, you deal 10% more damage next time you shadow strike a target, or shadow be dual to force an enemy to be put in the same room as you. So not only would you be able to use smoke bomb to stop any onlookers healing inside, now you can use shadow be dual to stop enemies from being able to heal inside, as far as I am to understand. It might be people can't heal into it, or people can't heal out of it. Either way, it can still work out to a best advantage in PvP, and it just gives you more variety of choices. Now you can choose Dagger and Dark, Slaughter from Shadows, or Shadow Duel, while keeping a Smoke Bomb up for yourself as a subtlety rogue. So far, I gotta say Blizzard, that's a pretty good change so far. I'm seeing a lot of rogue buffs, and that means that rogues weren't doing enough damage. I'm happy these changes are made in the alpha before anybody actually has to, you know, bash their heads against, let's say, a boomkin forever and ever and ever just to figure out ideal no damage. Good thing we're getting buffed. Good thing Blizzard is taking a look at rogues very carefully, giving us buffs left and right, and changes now PvP talents. It looks like it's going to be very interesting and very effective overall as a class in terms of PvP. I'm still not sure about dismantle, plunder armor. Or even for, let me just find it real quick, for combat rogues to go parlay. Now that the changes happen, I guess, Prey in the Week is the best option in order to increase the damage of enemies by 10%, but that's, I guess, not that bad. I still feel like I would use a blind a lot more often than parlay, especially if parlay ends up being something like a sap. If it's not a sap, and it's some sort of other CC that can be paired with other CC, like parlay, gouge, maybe stun, and then let's get a fear in there or something, 
or a trap, something crazy, right? Maybe then parlay can be good. But right now, I would kind of sway away from it. I would have to see other people play it. Hopefully one day I'll get into the alpha or the beta to check all these things out. But until then, I'll be uh, here updating you guys on everything that's happening to rogues in Legion. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Dalrin, and I'll see you guys in the next video.